Robinson Day. That's right, it's still Jackie Robinson Day. I can't think of a better time to remember my hero and the hero of many of you out there than this time that we're in, this pandemic. Um, I can't think of a better way to commemorate everything that he was about than to announce uh, the partnership between Toco and Figs. You know, Figs is, is uh, one of the companies that's the designer and man manufacturer of modern medical apparel. Um, and Toco is basically my friend Thomas Toll, who uh, been a company of legendary produce for the team. Um, Toco and Figs is donating 4.2 million, 4.2 for 42. last couple of weeks we found that the statistics um, for COVID-19 have shown that the African American community has been hit the hardest. The Latino community has been hit the hardest and that's partially because um, we're the front line workers. We're the ones still going to work, we're the ones still driving buses, we're in the hospital. And, hospitals that are servicing, you know, our people, there's just not the, there's not enough equipment, there's, there's, there's not enough, um, you know, masks, there's not enough gloves, there's not, there's not enough isolation down, and so what Tolco and Fitz is doing is they're going to ex execute the distribution of, of those scrubs, those masks, and those isolation downs to those hospitals that have been impacted the most. Um, and that's what he's doing. That's what he should be. So I applaud Tommy um, Cole. You know, he, he filled in the gap when we were doing 42. You know, the, the, the people were here for me. The same thing happens right now. Throughout this process, the federal government and the states have not exactly come together. You know, the federal government has not made sure those companies that provide. Put a bid and then distribute as needed the equipment. The same thing is happening with the tests. You know, the federal government has to put a bid in and, um, you know, make sure that the prices don't get driven up on the states, especially the ones that need it the most. And then that can be distributed properly. So we, we need leadership like this um, in order to fill in the gap. So there are others of you out there who, who um, can work in, in similar ways uh, until the states and, and, the, and the federal government get it together. Um, but we can't wait. We can't allow people to die in, in, in that process and then working it out. So Jackie Robinson, they're still alive. We're still, still in second base. We're still still in third base. We're still still in home. And so... Uh, Let's celebrate him today in those those uh, hospitals and those those uh, medical organizations that are that are doing the work. We can't just say you know we appreciate them. Let's let's get them what they need in Chicago, in Michigan, you know, in you know, in the various places that they need it. So happy Jackie Robinson Day. Happy hashtag. Operation 42, that's what this is. Operation 42, 4.2 million. Um, Thomas told you the What man. was the scariest moment while filming 21 Bridges? I would say hands down, it would have to be during the chase scene. We're chasing Michael, chasing uh, Stefan's character. Sienna is driving and she has to like do this sort of like, uh, it's like a 45 degree turn to turn around and, and go after him with the car. And it's a stunt woman driving some of the time during these the really difficult ones because the car has to come really close to me. And you know, while she's sort of skidding, it all the car skidding, it almost hit me twice, two times. I had to like actually dodge the car um, in order for it to not hit me. And it wasn't really scary to after the fact. I thought about like if I hadn't had reflexes, you know, the movie would have stopped at that point. So uh, that's hands down scariest moment.